Open Hearts Community Mission strives to be God's hands in Bullock County. We are here to provide love and redemption for people who have lost their way. While statistics tell a great story about the impact of the mission, they are only numbers. The real story is the lives transformed with the help of our services. Meet John, one of our residents and trustee of Open Hearts. He exemplifies the motto of high standards, strong boundaries, and clear direction. Go ahead and tell us about yourself, please. My name is John LeVance Bullard. I'm 38 and I'm from Brunswick, Georgia. And I come here from John's place. Um, I need somewhere to go and here I am. Okay, so tell me, how did you lose your way in life? I started deviling in drugs and uh, this thing, you know, I started making bad decisions and before you know it, I'll become an addict. I've tried several times, you know, I've tried to go to different self-medications of, of other drugs, they get off of drugs, and then find, ultimately, uh, several times until I finally learned that I couldn't do it without God. What was the low point in your life, and when did you know that you needed something bigger than yourself to help you get off of drugs? Well, at my bottom, I started making bad decisions. I ultimately quit my job, and I moved into a tent so it'd be portable so I could find different places to get high. So yeah, I was in Jessup and I was homeless in a tent. How important has Open Hearts been to your recovery? Open Hearts has been one of the most important places I've ever been at because I met two women here, Lisa Braswell and Didi Mobley, who's one of them's like a best friend and one of them's like a pillar in the community. I mean, someone I can look up to. She's very professional, Didi Mobley. And uh, this place has been perfect for me because it's gave me structure, it's gave me stability, it's gave me some rules to follow and, and suggestions to take in life. And if I follow those rules and, and take their suggestions before I know it, I'm saving money, having a good bank account, and now I have a move out date. Well, the mission is a great place. It has two strong women to run it. Dee Mobley's the uh, director, and she just, she has a goal, you know, and she'll show you how to have a goal. And she, she, she works with God, and she's a Christian. And she, it's, it's very important because it takes people off the streets who, who knows how they got there. It, anything can happen to anybody, and they're good people. And they'll go in front of a board, and what she, she does is, is she gives us opportunities to better ourselves. She gives us a goal, light at the end of the tunnel. Um, we set the structure, we set plans, and we save money, and we, we go by their guidelines before you know it people become fruitful, fruitful members of the community. It's just, it's a blessing. The goal is to have a move out date. When is yours and what are your plans for the future? Well, I haven't got, got a move out date set just yet, but I'm thinking about two months. Um, and my plans for the future are, is to become a member of the Statesboro, a fruitful member, come back here at the mission and do a, maybe a meal a month and a night, a, night a, a week for devotion. I want, to, I want to come back and give back. I want to be able to come here and just hang out with some of the guys here and, and uh, do volunteer work and ultimately become a volunteer in the mission. Just uh, my goals for the future are to, to help support this place and, uh, and give back like it's given back to me. Lamentations 3, 57 through 58. You drew near when I called out to you. You said, stop being afraid. Lord, you have defended my cause. You have redeemed my life. Redeeming life is the focus of Open Hearts Community Mission, providing a path for less fortunate members of our community who will seek to improve their lives is what we do every day.